Welcome back to the Clock Shop. This is Jim with J.R. Clocker on eBay. Let's see what happened at the Clock Shop this week. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Clock Shop. This is Jim with J.R. Clocker on eBay. Today, we're going to do a little video on how you adjust a Hermley or Yurgos hands, uh, whichever, the modern German clock hands. See the ones that have this little bushing here and there's a square hole. All right, so we're going to fix that for you, and let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at this. Here's a Hermley movement. Uh, I think it's a 1050. Um, it's really irrelevant. Uh, it's, this is the same thing that you do with a Hermley, Yurgos, uh, Kinninger, whatever you want to look at. All right, the hand, I have an oversized hand here just to so you can see better. But anyway, the hand will have a bushing on the back and uh, we'll go all the way through. It's a square hole, so I'm gonna get there. Square hole for basically look at every quarter, you know, 15, 30, uh, 45, and uh, 60 minutes. Anyway, so we have this set up here and it's it chimed, a, this is, we're gonna have it, chime but it chimed a little bit after um the 15 minute quarter so we have a tool that we use in the profession to, that that fixes this real easy uh but there's also another way to do it for through the people working at home um and that is take a hold with pliers the brass side or the back side bushing so you don't mar the front and then this one needed to go a little bit back, so we're gonna move that a little bit. You hold tight there, let it slide in the bushing. Go here, see how it turned up. Oh, I moved it a little bit further, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna grab the bushing and then move it uh, there. That should do it. I'm gonna put it in there, and there it is set up fine. Um, <clears throat> This is anything that has a quarter hour chime. If it's, if it's just a half an hour chime, you just want it to be right there on the hour and the half hour. You want it to be set up. Um, <clears throat> we do this tip on the three quarter because that's where it has, to, it has to go every quarter. It has to chime. But if it's just a strike, an uh, hour and half hour strike, you just bring the 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 clock up to and if it strikes the hour meaning more than one strike it's better to do it more than one strike so it gongs a couple hours and uh, then you'll know you're on the right you're right there and then you can do your your alignment <clears throat> when we use uh, when you we use our tool um, we just go in and turn it we can just turn the tool itself um, again, let's recap. Take your uh, take your pair of pliers, grab the bushing, and then you can turn the hand any way you need it to go, and it will turn and it will you know get yourself aligned up here. The square necessarily doesn't line up directly, so you have to actually do a trial and error. Um, it's a little bit easier because you have the dial on your clock so you can get it up here and you can put it in right away. Now this should be messed up because I've been playing with it without checking, but let's go through and look. We'll do it again. And it needs to go back a little bit. Right about there should be good. Oh, just a couple minutes more. Not much. Okay. And there you go. You're right there. Now there's a little play. There's always a little play. When you tighten up the nut again, you'll tighten that play right out of it. All right. I hope this helps. Please, if you like our little uh, tip videos, uh, push the like button. It really helps uh, people understand that it's, it, it might be something they want to look at. Anyway, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, and you all have a good day. And we'll see you next time.